hey guys in this video we are going to pull the products uh, from our inventory database uh, if you remember we built a simple inventory management system and currently these products are hard-coded so we're going to update it and pull it from our inventory database so here as you can see we don't have the price um, columns so uh, let's add the price and set the type to decimal save then here let's manually um, set the price so here we have an error so this should accept a decimal so let's update our column and then set the second value to 2 so that should accept to decimal places value so let's close that one so in here so in our pos.php file let's just um, remove some of these hard-coded products it's fresh uh, let's keep two products so here on uh, this section this is where we create the script so before that let's just remove the other one So here, um, we'll create a script that will pull the products. Uh, I'm going to introduce you to functions, uh, PHP functions, uh, get products that PHP. Before that, let's just create um, the PHP file. So let's just use products.php or product.php and then here let's create the function so let's just write the function get products and then here uh, let's just include the file so product.php so let's refresh see if there's no error so here i have the connection for script so i'll just copy and paste that one so basically here we have the div database name set to inventory then the username and password root and local host so here let's include the connection.php fresh and then so we have access to the connection variable since we included the page so let's pass that one to our function then here let's capture the connection try to dump so here is the connection value so let's just copy the script of pulling the uh, list of products so uh, let's remove the where and then here I'm going to return the rows so let's just try to bar them so as you can see here we have the data so now what we need to do is let's return the rows then here let's just add a comment so to get products let's uh, go back to the pos.php and then here let's store our 
create a, a variable called products and then use the function so let's refresh uh, as you can see it's working fine so let's try to dump the products so now uh, let's try to make the connection variable global so we don't need to pass it as a parameter so here to make it global so it's the same as session so let's just create econ globals and then here let's remove that one and then let's create the or get the connection variable and then use the global con so let's remove that one so let's try to dump if it still works so as you can see it's still working so now what we need to do is going to add here a php script so let's um, use for each function to loop the products variable then here let's make sure we put this inside the for loop so here going to add these dynamic data so we have the product id then here the image so product image so basically the link of the image then here the name And then last is the price so that should be the product name and here this should be the price so let's add the dollar symbol and refresh so we have an error um, let's try to copy and paste that one so we don't have the product name so let's try to dump our products as you can see here we it only returns a single row so what we're going to do here is check the code so it should be fetch all instead of just fetch so this will return array of rows so let's refresh so there's no error but it's not showing so i think it's the images that is causing the errors as you can see here so we need to update the link so if you remember these product images are moved inside the ims folder so we need to go to the uploads then products and then let's refresh as you can see it is now showing however they are showing in a single row so we need to update that one so let's move also remove that old one and then here let's try to move it here below the row let's refresh as you can see it is showing correctly as you can see we still have an error so we need to make sure so if you remember that this products variable we need also to store that or pass the products variable to that uh, javascript variable so here let's create a global javascript variable that will hold the products uh, 
so here we have uh, let's declare a products so before that we need to encode the PHP products variable so we can loop through it so let's refresh so as you can see it is now in a JSON format so now we can do a looping of the products variable so let's just uh, update the name so let's loop to the products JSON so using the porridge and then let's try to log if this works so for us as you can see it works so here we need to follow this format so we have the so actually um, it should be an object instead of an array so here we can just use products and then use the ID as the key so which is product that ID then here we can use or place the name property also have the stock and then the price of the product so let's remove and then let's try to con log the products variable see if so as you can see here it is formatted correctly so now the last step is to remove this one and then paste the products so now we have that let's try to check if it will not work so let's try Nescafe order item and see how much quantity we have 18 uh, so we only have 9 so that's correct so let's KitKat let's has 14 let's order 12 let's add more so our previous code is working properly so so in the next video we are going to learn how to or going to create the database for our POS system so that's all thank you